thank you so much for everything that you do to support me. I know it ain't easy sometimes, but I appreciate it. But also, sorry for the death threats. Thank you, I love you. The last several years have been mired with the battle between Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. Heard accused Depp of various things from their short marriage and it eventually led to an article by which Depp claimed she did defamatory statements without any proof. The case first went to the UK where Heard won, as did a newspaper tied to the case. Then Depp took the case to the US and he won, much to the shock of many. Amber Heard has spent the last six months getting ready for an appeal and then out of nowhere she reveals that she's settling the case. So what happened? We'll break it down for you. Welcome back. I want to let you know the Court TV has reached out to Amber Heard's legal team from this defamation trial multiple times for an interview and our requests were denied. But before we do that, go ahead and do us a favor by leaving a like on the video, subscribing to the channel, and hitting the bell icon so you never miss an upload from us. And with that being said, let's get straight into the video. Do you want to win an iPhone 12? Maybe a MacBook Pro? How about $500 cash? All you have to do is comment the secret hidden message somewhere in this video. That's it. Oh, and leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel so we can keep affording these giveaways. Winner will be announced at the last day of each month. Thanks for watching and good luck! Number 5. The Statement from Heard So let's get right to the meat and potatoes of the matter. After weeks and months of her saying she'd appeal, and not too long after she made the actual appeal, Amber Heard dropped a bombshell on social media, stating that she was settling the case with Johnny Depp. Here are her exact words. After a great deal of deliberation, I've made a very difficult decision to settle the defamation case brought against me by my ex-husband in Virginia. It's important for me to say that I never chose this. I defended my truth, and in doing so, my life as I knew it was destroyed. The vilification I've faced on social media is an amplified version of the ways in which women are re-victimized when they come forward. Now I finally have an opportunity to emancipate myself from something I attempted to leave over six years ago, and on terms I can agree to. I've made no admission. This is not an act of concession. There are not restrictions or gags with respect to my voice moving forward. As we'll point out soon, that's not exactly accurate, but we'll focus on the bigger matter here. Because despite her claims, she's ending this whole matter. She's chosen to settle and to finally put it behind her, and Depp. The irony of the statement is many-fold, including saying that she's doing this because there are terms she can agree to and that she's wanting to, quote, emancipate herself from the matter. That's not really the case. And we know that Johnny Depp's team have been wanting to settle for a long time, ever since the defamation trial ended. They even talked about it on TV not long after the trial ended. But the biggest thing here is arguably about money, which is a key part of the settlement. Number 4. The Terms Here's where things get really interesting. Because if you recall, when the defamation trial ended in Johnny Depp's favor, Amber Heard was penalized $10.35 million for the charges against her. That money was to go to Depp, and it was stated by the judge in the case that she couldn't file an appeal without paying the sum. She did that anyway because she was appealing everything about the case, but the penalty still stood. It was well documented how Amber Heard began to sell her houses in the US, and was even seen at certain low-cost stores getting items, importing that she didn't didn't have that much money to give. Fast forward to the settlement and the terms are as follows. She'll pay Johnny Depp a million dollars, which he will donate to charity. Going from $10.35 million is quite a drop, and the charity thing is the icing on the cake for Depp. Why? Because if you don't remember, when Deb and her divorced, she promised that any money she got from the divorce would go right to charity, as she didn't want to give the impression that she was a gold digger. Except despite multiple claims by her that she donated the promised $7 million to the charities she outlined, she had not even fulfilled half of the promise. Plus, some of that half was donated by other people, including Johnny Depp. So for Depp and his team to get her to give them a million just to turn it around and give it to charity is kind of funny, because we can pretty much guess that Depp will do it and do it quickly to show off how he keeps his word but Amber does not. Again the icing on the cake, the cherry on top. You get the idea. But while Depp does come out on top here, it shows Heard's financial woes are deeper than she wants to admit. Number 3. Financial Issues The $10.35 million payout that Amber Heard had to make to Johnny Depp was not a small amount. Remember, while Amber Heard is an actress, her roles that have made her millions are very few. In fact, we can only think of two, the Aquaman movies, something she wasn't happy about, but that's another story entirely. But her woes went beyond that, because despite being in those movies, she wasn't getting more roles. In fact, the upcoming Aquaman movie might be her last big budget film in her career unless a drastic turnaround happens. That's something she's also 
not happy about because she feels she's being punished for accusing Johnny Depp of doing something wrong. She further claims that Hollywood was trying to protect Depp instead of her, except Depp was basically blackballed from Hollywood. He lost major roles that cost him many millions, and he hasn't been in a big budget movie since 2018. So yeah, who got hurt more? Adding to her woes, she wasn't just dealing with Depp and his lawsuits against her. She was dealing with another case via an insurance company that was attempting to sue her. That case is still ongoing. And remember, up until today, she was fighting for that appeal in the defamation case. So that's two different cases. A $10 million payout she needed to make, mounting lawyer bills on top of cost of living, and yeah, she's clearly strapped for cash. She may not have wanted to do it, but the settlement was the best way out for her. Number two, Depp's lawyers respond. Depp's attorneys, Benjamin and Chu and Camille Vasquez tell Yahoo Entertainment in a statement, we're pleased to formally close the door on this painful chapter for Mr. Depp, who made clear throughout this process that his priority was about bringing the truth to light. The jury's unanimous decision and the resulting judgment in Mr. Depp's favor against Ms. Heard remain fully in place. The payment of a million dollars, which Mr. Depp is pledging and will donate to charities, reinforces Ms. Heard's acknowledgement of the conclusion of the legal system's rigorous pursuit for justice. Heard noted her statement is not an act of concession and that, quote, there are no restrictions or gags with respect to my voice moving forward. However, a Depp source says, contrary to what she claims, the judgment can still be used against her if she were again to repeat the false and defamatory allegations. The same source adds that there are no victories here for her. The judgment against her stands. That's true. Even though she settled, the ruling stands. The settlement was for the damages that she was ordered to pay, nothing else. But if you ask her, she is vindicated and also a bead. Number 1. Blaming the System One consistent threat throughout the months post-trial was that of Amber Heard stating to anyone who will listen to her that she was wronged by the U.S. justice system. In fact, in another statement she made about the settlement situation, she noted this, quote, When I took before a judge in the UK, I was vindicated by a robust, impartial, and fair system, where I was protected for having to give the worst moments of my testimony in front of the world's media, and where the court found that I was subjected to domestic and SV, she continued in Monday's statement. In the U.S., however, I exhausted almost all my resources in advance of and during a trial in which I was subject to a courtroom, in which abundant direct evidence that corroborated my testimony was excluded, and in which popularity and power mattered more than reason and due process. In the interim, I was exposed to a type of humiliation that I simply cannot relive. Even if my U.S. appeal is successful, the best outcome would be a retrial where a new jury would have to consider the evidence age. I simply cannot go through that for a third time. The last few sentences are curious because despite not being able to go through it a third time, she was gearing up to do just that. What this proves is that Amber Heard won't be changing her tune, but she always won't get the last laugh against Depp. And there you go, everyone. A look at the shocking twist in the case between Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. Are you shocked that after all all Amber Heard said and did in the court case in the last six months that she's decided to settle. Is this because she's unable to pay the fee she owed Depp and wanted the simplest way out? Or is there something else going on here? Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time on the channel. They were locked in to a version of what they claim happened. And that's not to say that they were lying or 